Greetings citizen. And welcome back for some more fun filled and action packed shenanigans with this week in Star Citizen. Grab your popcorn, and let's get stuck in. So, first up let's have a look at the awesome stuff, that subscribers will be getting their hands on for April. As mentioned a few episodes back, subscribers will be able to stuff their virtual heads into a variety of dodgy looking overlord helmets in various shades of shite. Wicked. Actually, you know what, the whole suit doesn't actually look that bad. Maybe it's just the helmets that look goofy. The ship of the month is all versions of the Aegis Penguin. So really it's three ships then, the Titan, the Warlock, and the Stalker. Not much to say about this really other than, nice, I guess. And finally, when 3.9 eventually drops, sometime before the turn of the century, Imperator level subs will also be able to plant their happy asses into the newest Bewear budgie for their test flight program. Now unfortunately, Always Big had to cancel his sub a few weeks back, so will not be able to review the budgie, which I was actually looking forward to. Hey ho. Let's hope the world gets back to normal soon. Next up, a shallow dive into Pillar Talk, with Supreme Galactic Overlord and Big Cheese Mr. Genuine Roberts, all round good egg and snappy dresser Sean Tracy, director of Techno Babble, and engineering for the PU, Paul Rainbow, and chief people person and poster boy for Herbal Essences Organic Conditioner, Eric Kieran Davis. Filmed in early March 2020 in the City of Angels before the current apocalypse, the boys sit around an icewood coffee table and chat about a whole bunch of guff while nodding a lot. Great news everyone, the Squadron 42 monthly report is out, bloody epic, let's have a gander, I love these as the Squadron 42 guys don't fuck about with excuses like refactoring, crap, the first goddamn sentence, less I, so the cover system has been worked on, along with 3D collision avoidance and new patrol features, tickety boo, the art department continued working on hair, Rumor has it, that Eric Kieran Davis has been busy in the CIG film studio doing hair motion capture, and we can expect to see a full range of Kieran Davis branded hair products available at fine space retailers everywhere from 4.0 onwards. Anyway, they also worked on finalizing the Vandal, making them look more like a cross between a piranha fish and a salamander than ever before. Weapon Art did some stuff for the Bering S7S9 lasers due in April. Oakley Doakley. 
Cinematics had been working on the interrupt stuff mentioned in the spring of 1978. Basically they are trying to decide if all the mocap stuff they have can be used, or if they have to go back and book half of Hollywood again to redo it all. So, full motion capture refactoring incoming. You heard it here first folks. Engineering. I'm just going to summarize this part with a list of buzzwords, so you get the gist. Flexible conversations. Physics threading more cores. Ragdoll and body dragging. Vertices and ramp. Something about disk space and voxel grids. Vulcans and API meshes. Ray jittering and HDR debug errors. Something something component update functions and physical skin proxies. There wasn't that much easier. Gameplay have added new audio and animations to the random NPC scenes, and applied the real digital acting parameters to chapter 4. They are currently looking closely at the setup of characters seated at the bridge of the address, and will work with social AI in the coming weeks to further bring them to life. Rubbish. What they really mean is they hope to get all the NPCs standing on all the seats in the Idris to sit the fuck down and behave. The graphics team did some Vulcan stuff, and made improvements to the holographics UI screens to make them more readable. Cool. Additional triggering tech was delivered to the level design team that will ensure scenes trigger in the most realistic way possible and some rad new tech that will allow NPCs to engage in realistic upper body conversations as they walk. Oh. Okay. Narrative worked with xenolinguist Britton Watkins to continue developing the Vandu language, including how physiological features could potentially be incorporated, such as the lisp they will most likely have, while trying to speak with a mouth full of steak knives. You could say, they have an apocalypse. QA, did some QA stuff such as combat and ship AI testing. Tech animation refactored facial rigging. I wonder if they use the dual cortanium skinning deformer for this. And specifically for Squadron 42, Tech Animation in Frankfurt created a placeholder entity for Vera Calso to enable cinematics to work on scenes she features in. And finally for the Squadron 42 monthly report the VFX team completed their work on the Acedo station interior. They continue to investigate Vandul VFX taking on feedback from the director of cinematics, and continued planning for the next quarter, identifying several locations now ready for a VFX pass, along with some CPU and GPU stuff. Lovely. Stone the Crows, would you look at that, CIG are having a spring merchandise sale. Let's see what they've got on offer for us, besides chocolate eggs and chip soap. On closer inspection, it looks like 25% off a few t-shirts, a jumbo mouse pad, a baseball cap, a flask and a hoodie. Outstanding. My ghast is utterly flabbered. Brace yourselves. It's time for our weekly disappointment enema in the form of the roadmap roundup. Blah blah blah. We are running behind schedule and stuff's getting moved to 4.0. Shock horror. Notable changes for April 10th though include performance optimizations, prison uniforms, and the microtech collection. Nice. Star Citizen Live. Joining Professor Disco Beard in his basement this week are two people he likes plus Dave Haddock, and for reasons that were not made entirely clear, they are somehow broadcasting from 1927. <laughs> Anywho, this week's episode is a dive into the lore of the Star Citizen universe, both past, present, and future. I actually think this is one of the more fascinating aspects of the verse, and think that these guys do a pretty decent job of stitching it all together in a somewhat cohesive way. Nothing really worth singling out, but I recommend checking out this episode for yourself. Link in the description below. So, while the world and his dog waits for the glorious gibbering of 3.9, old Wiz Pig decided to pop on over to another spaceship galaxy he used to frequent a lot more of back in the day, for a gander at the shiny new fleet carriers they've just introduced in the open beta. Without going into too much detail, I shall just say this, fuck that, absolutely fuck that, with bells on and extreme prejudice. 5 billion to buy, and around 140 million a week in upkeep. A week. Every week. 
I have to ask FD, what the actual fuck are you guys smoking over in Cambridge? I had not played ED for a while, and so thought this might be a good time to jump back in. Sadly though, it seems that Frontier have absolutely lost their goddamn minds. So, back to Stanton and all of its high fidelity desync glory. Now, where did I park my Karak? Right then, that's all we've got time for this week. As always, thank you all for watching. Now, commence like button slapping and subscribing. Do it now.